Hello, this is David Dean, and not sure if this is really a good idea, but we're going to try to do a higher level horde bash. Um, as usual, I just do random, and I said I needed 20, and nobody said no, so I'm going to hit it. And what do we got over here? Hey, that's my base. Cool. Let's see. Yes, I love phase shift. Get over here. What do we got coming in? Oh. And this one, I'm just going to be showing some standard builds I do, or at least trying to show them, if somebody doesn't cut me off first, which happens a lot. And just putting up a wall here, forcing everything to go over here. And then putting in a roof. What do we got for traps? Let's go ahead. I need three. Uh, I guess I get two. Some gas traps, and on this one, I need up. Oh, did not want that. One of those. All right, good. Usually, when I put this up, somebody throws a dynamo on it <laughs> and totally undo, undo. But this guy was smart and put up gas traps, so I like him. Awesome. <laughs> it is great when you have somebody who understands what you're trying to do without telling them, and it is nightmarish when they do not. And I guess I should make myself a weapon and a launcher. All right. So everything coming up there. Grab this quick. Usually somebody puts up a screen above. But let's see. Let's go with reverse stairs. And that way we can place this and it won't get blown up. Unfortunately, I don't have my ceiling electric fields done yet. And these guys better be putting down a hell of a lot of traps, because at level 20, this can get ugly. Alright, do a little reinforcing. Oh, why did he cut that off? That is bad. We're going to have mobs coming in this way. Ah, jeez. <laughs> can I change that? Nope, out of luck. Alright, hopefully they'll come down here. I made that a half wall for a reason, and unfor oh, we got propane. So let's head on back, and do, do people are putting, why are all these walls here? I can't, there we go. I love it when a propane actually helps you out. And please, please, just throwing up walls to throw up walls does not help. This wall here is on a cliff, it doesn't allow anything except stop people from shooting things as they spawn. All right, we're going to have a lot of that. Where did that ramp come from? <laughs> what? Okay. So they just wanted to get up top here. That's cool. Everything seems to be dying pretty good. We got flingers, and the one thing is I don't have a high-level weapon. And let's go ahead and throw up. There we go. And always, I always make the stake up on top in the middle. There is a bar for kill progress. <laughs> make sure you look at that before you do something like your turret or a teddy. Because I have so many times thrown out a turret just to have that expire one second later. Yeah, go down. All right. Whoops. There we go. Whoa! All right. For a propane wave, that was pretty damn good. Let's get moving. And yes, I did cuss. All right. Got to watch it. Going to ruin my reputation. And over here, um, don't really hardly ever see anybody doing it. But what I do is get up here as fast as possible, put up a wall here, forcing them to drop back further where they can go into the trap tunnels instead of just walking straight across the top here to get to the fort. And it also forces the lobbers to go down below instead of just standing up on this cliff and nailing you, or nailing your fort, actually. So hopefully this will make all of them drop down. And one thing, I probably the reason hardly anybody does this is if you're doing this you really aren't doing much for getting that kill count out up for your combat score 
but I, I just want to complete the mission. And one thing that has helped me out is I have a three-star trap, ceiling electric field, so I can make traps on multiple levels. And that just allows me to use up more of the materials they give me. Ah, come on. Need more traps. I don't even want that. And about to get interesting. Drop a teddy. Do a turret. Whoa. Did he spawn inside of that? Shoot. Maybe I should have set that back a little bit further. What do we got for wall traps? Nothing. I got four husks beating on me, and that is why I love the phase shift. That has saved my life so many times, mainly the enhancement. Ah, jeez, we got somebody who puts up walls instead of puts up traps. Um, that is not good. So, but hey, everybody does their own thing. And unfortunately, not good. And like that person got trapped behind the walls. That's why just throwing up walls for throwing up walls really is a horrible thing. And there we go. Yeah, if you're not doing trap tunnels, if you're doing the blocking, they're just going to find another way around. And what they're doing is going all the way around here and walking right in. So, yeah, just lessons learned. <laughs> and this guy is getting smart. He is um, getting rid of that. I hate to mess with other people's builds. And here... Ah, time to phase shift. <laughs> Once again, phase shift for the sake. Ah, I can't get to the mobs. This guy is... Ah. Yeah, nothing I can do. He put up traps on the walls. So I gotta figure out a way around. Alright. Uh, eight seconds. So at least we got some traps in here now. All right. Let's see. And this, I, mean, I know that stuff is all a pain to a lot of people and they get frustrated and angered or I guess triggered. Um, but to me, that's just part of the fun, the chaos. And absolutely end up enjoying it. Well, usually don't have a tentacle up here. It should be okay to do a little building. Let's see if I can get this built before somebody comes in and changes what I'm doing. All right. Wave incoming. One minute. Sorry. Uh -uh. And what do we got for traps? Bad news, huh? And extend that out and put that up for extra support just in case some other ones blow up. All right. Outstanding, but it looks like they can get through. And sorry if sometimes I'm pausing on the commentary. And that's just my brain trying to catch up with everything going on. All right. Don't, I don't think a floor can go there without it, um, them bashing it. And that is one thing you want to try to prevent happening because if it's propane again, they just blow it all up. And my gas traps do so much more damage than my ceiling electric fields, so always want to go to those first. Wave start. We'll do that back there. Anything coming around? Good. I'm going to go ahead and just put one or two more traps here. Alright, I clicked on the dynamo. I thought. No, I didn't. There we go. Oh, we do have some coming through this way. And we got a flinger. Hold it. What happened to my... Oh, he has some pathing going up there. Alright. <laughs> but yeah, in a lot of ways on these things, you're not just um, fighting the husk. You're fighting your teammates. 
for how to do it. But like this, he did it. Set it up totally different, but he actually seems to be working. So, hey, I just learned something new and life is good for next time. And this is an interesting build. I love it. Who is it? AU Sentinel? And, ah, oh, shoot. But I need to be doing a better job of getting my turrets up. Stop walking away from me. I've been having that a lot lately. I think that is something from the Battle Royale people. Because it used to be I never had people, when they fall down dead, take off and start moving on me. And definitely having it lately. Alright. We got the turret up, so let's go ahead and make some more traps. And am I done? Yep, I'm done on that. So get some more rocket launchers. You can also recycle your um, green weapons. But right now I don't want to take the time out to do it. Hey, Mr. Flinger. Getting a little bit of rubber banding going on. And yeah, this guy is a building machine. Awesome. Who is that? I... Durkus? Great job building, Durkus. Alright. Damn, I need a baseball bat. <laughs> They've only had a few hundred of them show up in the um, store. But we're almost done here. Let's see, we're early on. I want to see... Sometimes I can grab these early on and sometimes I can't. Yeah, I got it. Which I don't understand. Like here, what wave are we on? Wave three, I'm able to grab the fragments outside of the um, shield. But later on, I will not be able to. All right, I had to click like five times to get my um, quad launcher to launch once. There we go. All right, this team's coming together. And we are kind of low level for what we're doing. But as long as we keep setting up trap tunnels the right way, it is no big issue. Ah, this one's a good one to build for. Alright, let's get that going. And if you notice, the time is getting shorter each time. Alright. Ah, get the right one. Hopefully when he sees that half wall... They won't try to build something weird on it. Stock up. And yeah, we are set. All it takes is one well-placed wall launcher and you can really keep these guys bottled up. Alright, let's get down some wooden floor spikes. And I'm good to go on turret. And I hear the blasters and I hit phase shift. And I gotta say, right now, number one power I love in the game is phase shift. It has saved my life so many times. Thank you for playing. Get some more gas traps going. And that's what happens when I focus on traps. Come on. Oh, it was the second guy over there who got me. Alright. Hey, I'm back. Let's get that in there, and I gotta see. Oh, that was. Stop crawling! Oh. Just do it that way. Oh, shoot, there is nothing built over here. What do we got? Two minutes left to go. Ah, uh, we gotta get some traps up. No, turret's not going up anytime soon. And just moving. Was having blaster problems. Oh, need to make some more traps. And fast. Alright. Uh, dynamos. Let's get them going. Um, gas traps. Need those too. And that is one thing, my launchers are set up for huge, massive impact, but they have a long reset time. 
A minute left to go. And, uh, I guess we're going to do dynamos. And actually, you can do the same thing over here with the wall launcher. And I know this is a little crazy. Uh, we'll do it that way. Whoa. There we go. Nope, didn't put it up. Lag's messing with me. So we should be sitting pretty good now. He's building trap tunnels like crazy over here, which allows me to relax a little bit. And we got 22 seconds left, so not going to use my turret. Yeah. And I don't know. Um, I know on lower levels, if you got propane in the beginning, you would just keep getting propane. I'm not sure if they changed that up for all levels, or it's just when you get higher levels, it's more random. And unfortunately, I still see people in high level ones. As soon as they see propane on the first wave, they quit. But as you saw in this, we got propane on the first wave and have not got it again since. So, whoa! All right, where are we coming in here? Ah, awesome. Let's see, that does not look like... Let's do it like this, just to give it some more support. And then, what do we got, 20-some? And this is where I'm using all the electric fields. Gas traps do more damage, but I just don't have enough materials to do as many of them. There we go. And then we're going to have some mobs heading up here. Wave incoming. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten seconds. Plenty of time. Yeah, not possible. Just remember what the Hitchhiker's Guide has always said. Start. Don't panic. And hopefully a few of you at least get that reference. Ah. Turret! Where's my turret? There we go. And let's phase shift out of that. There. I don't know what she's building, but I'm building that. Wooden floor spikes to slow them down. Can I get anything for the walls? We need more dynamos. Can't even tell if those are actually being built. Yeah, we got them. All right, just going to take a second. See if anything is breaking through anywhere. And I haven't been mentioning it, but the whole time I'm building, I'm double-checking my mini-map to make sure nothing is breaking through anywhere. Like over here, where nobody... Oh, we got a little bit of a trap tunnel. It's not really a trap tunnel until you get a... Oh. No gas traps. I need gas traps. Probably going to die standing here, but that's okay. Got to get this done. There we go. That'll take care of a bunch of them. Obviously not all of them. Come on. There we go. What am I at? Oh, almost dead. Come on. All right. We got Flinger just hanging out up here. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with that. There we go. Taken out. But yeah, for levels, we're fighting a level 125 mobs. We got level 88, 72, 80, and 87. So, and the only way you're going to pull that off is traps. Lots and lots of traps. What? Ah, we're only halfway through on this one. This one's getting interesting. And we actually have a break. Come on. Alright. What is she just... Ah, uh, hopefully they're making traps or something. Alright. So basically right now all we're dealing with is flinger trash getting up here and the flingers occasionally. And we'll have my turret take care of that. Actually, come on, get through. They keep beating on one tile that has no traps or anything on it. Can I make a trap? Not really. All right, leave it as is. Actually, well, we'll put a gas trap. There we go. Reinforce that. 
three tier it. And we're almost done. Outstanding. Let's go take a look. Don't like you. Go away. Jeez. Yep, these guys are tank guys. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. I got my floaty traps out here now. So, evidently the flingers didn't like them. Took them out. And we're going good. And I know these first ones are total chaos with me running around. But when they're done right, then in the um, next round, basically the later stages, it is so much easier. Because you just run over to the trap tunnels you already have built. Reinforce them a little bit. Like here. This thing. This time, this is going to be the main trap tunnel. But I've already built it up pretty much. Launcher here. Hey, we got room for a gas trap out here. Um, this is another one I do. Let's see. Come on. Give me... There. Come on. Up. And up over here. And then I can do my grid for all of... Whoops. The ceiling traps. And then reinforce it a second time over here. And I am stuck. Whoa, we got to get traps up over here. Where's everybody? It happens. Doo -doo, let's go. Oh, this could get really ugly fast. you got to have traps up here. Uh, turret. And let's see what I got. I got dynamos. Cool. Oh, damn. Propane. Oh, no. They put a floor in that tunnel. Shoot. And also, the quad launcher used to not set off the propanes. Now it is. Making life much more difficult. So this is going to get ugly. Let's see. Ah. Propane going off. What do we got down here? No propane for the moment. Come on. There we go. And yeah, once again, I was able to grab that fragment. I don't know why I can sometimes and can't others. But I kept hearing that you could not do it outside of the shield. So I just wanted to make sure to put that in there. And I guess we're going to hang back and take everything out with weapon fire and turrets. Shut down that flinger. <laughs> ah, I love it. Got a minute 50 to go. It's getting some serious rubble. Get out of the tunnel. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Shoot. Come on. They're far enough. Are they going to blow it up? It's good. Out of no problem. And now, we'll just go ahead and totally open up. And let's get, come on. <laughs> yeah, we got the little guy. Can't trust that little guy. And that is another thing I absolutely love about using the Teddy. He doesn't bro blow up the propane. Burn, baby, burn. All right, get the keep going. And now, and sometimes it's just better this way with the propane. Just you know, forget the trap tunnels, forget everything, and just go to town, blowing up the propane, which causes that to blow up all the other husks. And hey, almost got my Mist Monster count up. <laughs> I could actually see the missile from the quad launcher stop in time. Ooh. 10 seconds. We're good. Yep. 
All right, so awesome. We're up to seven. What do we got? All right. Actually, this guy has a pretty cool build. I like this. Always love builds that have lobber shields on them. Just makes my life so much easier. Up here. Everything all good. No new spawn points. Let's get... Come on, where did it go? There we go. And as you can see, I can make a ton of these now. Alright, that's more than enough. Gas traps, alright, now I am out. And I just wanted to get a few more directly over the spawn point. Oh, <laughs> my wall got shredded. And hopefully they don't come after me. But just to make sure... Hey, come get me. And a great location for a turret and phase shift all the way back here. Awesome. One thing people have started doing that I really like is they put a ramp going up here to this trap tunnel area. Wow, we got a lot coming in there. All right. Ah, I hate this. Now, now I can get to it. They tore down a wall. All right. Almost dead. Come on. Yeah, I'm getting really, really bad rubber banding. Whoa. All right, didn't even see that, but I got some more traps down. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough to stop them at level 125. All right, but we can't. Come on. There we go. Teddy will take care of them. I thought I made some gas traps. And then we can put down some more dynamos. Over here, actually, do we have, ah, I wanted a launcher. And halfway through that, a few more coming in. Come on. Ah! Yeah, this is getting much more difficult just because of the lag. There is no reason for me to have those last two deaths. Normally would be no issue. Yeah. Oh, now it shows up. Can I get it? There we go. Hopefully it'll slow him down a little bit. What do we got? Minimap. They're still having a time over here. Awesome. Putting down the decoy. And let's see. Actually, I'm going to save my turrets because I know that um, we're going to have three of those mini bosses coming in the eighth wave. So I always save my turrets, or try to save at least one turret on the seventh wave. And if I was thinking about it, I would have saved the other one also because this could get really ugly. Wow, everything coming through here. I know it's almost over, but still. Hopefully that will slow it down and get them back into the trap tunnel. Do have time to put down a teddy, though. And this is going to be awesome. All right, let's see, are they coming down through there? Looks like it's a little bit better. A few more coming down. <laughs> Even the shielder has the tank power on him. Not cool. All right, we're done, basically. Stand by for an important weather alert. So as long as we can take out those three mini bosses in the beginning, life should be good. 
Looks like we're only getting attacked from one side, but this is a side that has not been touched yet. So let's go ahead. Launcher. I'm going to do a double timeout room here. Hopefully they figure out what I'm doing and don't try to change it up. Shoot, we got so much more building we need to do for over here. Yeah, they've seen the timeout room before. They know what's going on. Alright, on this one, I wanted to show you this, but since we had no more no traps down yet, a little tough to do. And actually on this one. You can just start laying down the lobber shield because there is no high edge that they actually um, spawn from. And I really need a heal. <laughs> but, ah, geez, I got to get out there, but I am almost dead. Let's go take care of these guys. Get around the corner. The three mini bosses. And there we go. And he has his decoy down. Ah, it's outside of range of this one. Don't know where there we're going. Jeez, <laughs> these things. All right, we got one down. All the turrets were focusing on him. And of course it had to be my base that they were going for. Um, oh, don't put up a, well, we don't know if there's um, smashers or not. No, we got flingers back there. That's all I know. Come on. We got, what, one left? Where is he? <laughs> yeah, the lag is insane. <laughs> I'm firing, and a few seconds later, it shows up. But that is why you have things like turrets and teddies, because they don't care about lag. They just do what they're supposed to do. And I can finally get that heal that I needed like five minutes ago. But now all the flingers are forced to go into the base, or into the trap tunnel areas. Hey, there they are! <laughs> Alright, don't know what he's building up here. But he's been pretty smart with it before. So, I shall trust him. And I'm kind of dying. This, this looks like it's holding up great. No issue, no problem. It's the other side of this cliff edge. We gotta get secure. Shoot. Yep, um, Husky Hus decided he wanted me taken out. We got flingers going up on the edges over there, but just barely we've had the structure attack. And actually, I need to check out the structure up top. Alright, what do we got? Ah, something got through there. Get off of my structure. And we got a bunch of flingers over here. And we got a teddy bear. And that teddy bear can shoot eight tiles, so he can definitely reach them. It's just a matter of killing them without a melee weapon. Alright, what do we got? All looking good. Doesn't look like we're taking any more damage, same as it was before. So let's go ahead and force these guys up some more. And we're just going to keep forcing them back. <laughs> ah, they're going to be able to get up there. So. And if you haven't noticed, I got um, like three or four <laughs> following me around. But great. Hey, not cool. Got to get this back on here. 
And it doesn't kill them, but it slows them, slows everything down. And the more we can slow them down, the better chance we have of actually finishing this. Come on. All right, great team. And this is kind of why I like doing random groups more than um, going with people who I know what they're going to do. And it's just, yeah, you finish more often with people you know. But with random groups, you're always kind of surprised when it actually works out. And when you see people building things the way you were going to build them anyway. Or learning something new. Come on. And I gotta make myself a melee weapon. <laughs> I really do. I put everything I had towards the new double barrel shotgun Dragoon, which I absolutely love. But it used up a ton of my resources. What do we got? And also, oh, I meant to bring this up earlier. We still have um, the one year anniversary coming up in about um, two weeks. And they said they were going to put out a new la anniversary llama that's going to have nostalgia items. And nobody's 100% what nostalgia items means, but everybody is hoping that what it means is all the old event items. So, need to start saving up all my um, road trip tickets for llamas, and hopefully I can use them when that comes out and maybe get myself a hydra or some scavenger weapons and the main one thing i want is the machinist constructor that came from the scavenger event booyah we have done it so there we go um high level um horde mission i know there's people who've done higher ones wow um good stats so there you go, but the main thing I wanted to show is that even with our combined levels, we were lower in level than the um, Hus that we were fighting. So outstanding job. I Durkis, General Bandit, and AU Sentinel. Don't know if that's Arizona University or something else. Can I click? There we go. All right, so take care. Oh, no, I want to show the rewards. Everybody wants to know about the rewards. So a good run with Challenge of the Horde. I was surprised. I thought I was going to have to log in like four or five times just to find a group that didn't have a level 10 person trying to play in it. So we will grab all our goodies. And, ah, just a level 5 chest. But that is okay. And rewards for doing a level 20 mission or challenge 20 in a level 76 zone. What do we get? All right. I have a ton of legendary perks now. I need to go and farm for all the other ones and some more hero XP, which I really don't need. And then, yeah, all the extra. So I get a hundred perk ups or not perk ups, re perks. 200 more reperks, 200 more legendary, 250 tickets. As I said, I am now now that I got my Dragoon double barrel shotgun, I am saving these tickets to see if they're usable in the upcoming um, one year anniversary llamas that will be coming out hopefully in a week or two. And then for finishing that, I am strange. Almost everybody grabs Survivor XP because they care about their commander level getting up as high as possible. I rather just get my traps and weapons up to high levels, and I really don't worry about what my level is. So that's the way I do it. <laughs> I know a lot of people disagree. And then we got another 120 tickets. I get a skill point, but I don't get a skill point because I've already maxed it out. So. There you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. And have a great and amazing day.